Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomania. In this video, we will see how we can pass our authority object data to the database level to filter out the data at the database itself. Then we will get the resultant data whenever we are using ALV IDA. Let's get started. To understand the auth object, how we can pass directly at the database level instead of running the authority object at the application server, what we do, we will use one same report which we have created in my last video to understand the select options. What we did, we, ju we just created one normal simple report where we were having one two select options and we were using CL GUI table IDA class and CL GUI underscore underscore table underscore IDA class static method create for CDS view. We are displaying the data of this particular CDS view which we have created another one of the video. So we, we were just displaying this data using this particular IDA, IDA class static method. So now what, what else we did? We just collected this all the select options and we have created the range. We have added this range of select options to one of the our class CL solve range step collector. And finally we have created one range collect range collected range all the collected range in one internal table and that we have passed in the IDAL we said select option method and we were filtering out the data and we were displaying the data. So how how we did and it was working very fine we saw. Now what we will do we will add the authority object to our program. Previously how we used to do suppose I have to add the authority object in my program so I have to use like this uh, authority AU. You have to write the authority object and you have you should have some authority object ready, ready and you have to give some authority object name here. Once some name you have to give whatever the authority authority object you have to give name and ID you have to give and you have to give the field name and what is the field value. So understanding the authority object and and object I already created one of the authority object. I, I just want to show you what authority object I have created and I have assigned to the one PFGC role uh, to create the authority object and how to assign to the PFGC role. PFGC role I have already explained in CDS control videos. There I created the manually one auth object. If you don't know how to create the auth object, how to create the authority class in SU21, how to the auth object under that and how that auth object we should assign to that particular role that I have already explained. But I will show you just how we how I have assigned that authority object in particular PFGC role. So open PFCG role, you have to open the T code alt F8. PFCG is the T code you have to open. I have already created one role there. Inside that role, I have already one authority object. So so this is the PFGC role, a wise ID underscore sales is the PFG, PFCG role. To display this role inside that I have assigned some authority object which I have created using SUT21T code. I want to see my authority object and this role I have assigned first to the my user ID. So this is the my user ID, I have already assigned this role and inside this authorization object, if you see what all are the authorization objects assigned to this particular role. You, you have to click on the display part and you can see this is the class, authority class and this which you can create using the SU21T code and this is the authority object. Inside the authority, authority object I have passed the some value NA01 for the sales oak and activity only I can display. These are the value I have passed. That means whenever I use this authority object I will be able to access only the NA01 sales of data. I, I, I should not able to access other sales of data. How we usually apply the this particular authority object in our report? That is the two way we usually use. One directly on the select options. What we used to do, suppose I want to use this authority object over here. So what I can do, I can get the authority object name. What is yid underscore sales? What I will do, uh, I have to give this name here. yid underscore sales and Control shift greater than and I have to give the ID first. The first ID will be the my VKORZ. So VKORZ ID and what is the 
value for this particular VKORG that I have to pass that particular value as well. So what will be the value uh, that should come from the select options? Control C, Control V, tell soak low value that that should come. And second ID I have to pass the activity which I know in this P, which I can see in the PFZZ role that is second ID activity that should be display means zero three. ACT, VT, oh, not equal to, we have to give the field, field name here, uh, here we should not give field, what, what is the field we are going to use here, that field value we, we have to give. So, once the user have this particular authority object access, we will display the message if size of our C, is not initial then we will display some error message here message we will give some error message message like that we usually do in normal our ABAP programming some message we will give no auth or something like that as of now I will give not no authorization type E we will give and we will not further process the data because the user have no author this is case of the if you have only one parameter that you want to just validate one parameter value here. But here we have select options. We have to pass all the values of the select options here. So one way we have to get all the cells or whatever based on the select options from the VBAK table or cells or table, original table and those cells or one by one we have to validate user have access or not. If it is not having uh, that cells or we need to remove and we have to pass remaining cells or only to the select statement. In like that how we used to do in ABAP programming. But I have to look through this all the sales org which our user passed and only the sales org which is having user access that needs to be keep all other sales org I have to remove and for, uh, that remaining sales order I have to pass in the select. Here we don't have select at all. And one more thing, uh, we don't have select and we don't, we, we don't need to, we don't want to apply filter the data and we, uh, that another way if you don't have select option, you, if still you want to apply on the, your resulted data, uh, then what you have to do, you have to get your final data, final output and that on that final output, you have to check each and every cell so and which is having the access, those, those only should be displayed and the output other things should not be displayed at the output. Like we usually do in normal day to day ABAP programming. Now, what I want to do, I want to pass this authority object at the database itself. I don't want to apply this authority object at the application server level, at the programming, programming level. I want to do code push down for the auth object as well. I want to pass my code to the database and there should itself run that authority object. I want to get the filtered data based on the authority and which is having actually user having that access data, those data I want to get at the application server level. How I can do using CLIDA classes. So first I will show you how this authority object working. So you will, so you can trust me guys so what i will do i used one value i don't want to look through and again i want to do i don't want to show you a classical concept that is the reason so what i will do i will do f8 first is of now you can see in pfc role only the na01 access is there if i pass apart from na01 any cells so suppose i pass uh, some other cells so of 1710 and i try to execute i will get that no authority to the, your user id and uh, let me execute again this program and if I pass the NA01T code, let me do F8, I will get only NA01 data because user have the NA0, I just validating user have the access or not. But the, the how to validate in real time that is little bit different than how what I have done. But I want to show you basic concept how you can pass this authority object to the database level. Yes, I got the data only for the NA01 because I have NA01 access to this particular PFCG role and authority object. So what I will do now instead of applying this authority object here, what I will do, I will pass through this authority object at the database level, control F3. In this case, uh, this is the, this is not the, I, I checked only for the low value. Ideally, we have to check for the, all the values, whatever we have passed, low, high, range, between, whatever include, exclude, whatever we are doing in the select options, there we have to do, that we have, we will do for that. For passing that authority object at the database level, what I will do, I have to use my final, there is two way, if you control C, I, both the things I will show you, control Z, one second, control C. The first thing you have to use your ALV instance, which is returned from your 
uh, here uh, create for CDS view it is returned I have to use and I have op option 8 other authority object 8 authority authorization for object I have one option so you have to do shift enter you will get to know what needs to be passed here one is the authority object name which I have already have this is the authority object name I have to pass control C and I will pass this authority object name and second thing I have to pass the activities I know this time activity is the zero I have to pass one internal table I have to I will create on go this internal table using value operator and uh, I will pass the control space I will do auth field I want to pass authority field will be activity A C T V T this is the authority field let me decrease this CDS I'm just displaying the data from the CDS so no need to worry about that CDS you can use any table also but CDS is more meaningful because really we have already joined the data we applied most of the logic on the CDS itself and I will do control space then I want to pass the value what should be the value the currently 0 3 I just want to display the data anyway user have only the display access no and second thing second internal table that is again same format but this time we have to pass all the fields and in, in authority field is vkrz you can see you don't know what all are the authority of fields you can come to pfc0 role and your auth object you can come you can directly direct, and either you can go directly in su21 and you can see what all are the fields are there in this case only one vkrz or you can see in the role as well it depends again and the value should be come from the cdsu and what is the value this is the value sales org value control c this you have to pass control v and control shift x to maximize this one and let me pass comma separate so whatever the value comes uh, I, I whatever the sales org value come that user have access it will be validated and finally it will be passed to the database layer there is something wrong okay no component exist value okay i think we have to do control space auth field is this one value field is there this is the value field this is the authority field and here we have passed directly value here we have to pass the value field okay i think that's fine we have applied the authority object we have passed to the database let me do control f3 before displaying data first we will see without authority object how the data look like you have all you have to always catch all the exceptions i'm not doing one by one just to name check you can just catch the exception using try catch block and you can just display the message if if it is uh, going for error but as of now i didn't do i just do the i i will apply uh, what i will do uh, first i will without authorization how the data we are getting we will see and with after that we will just uncomment this again and we will see with authorization how we are getting the data let me do f8 I'm not passing any selection criteria as of now. I just want to see all the data. It will be the data directly getting from the database and see if I want to filter out, you can see what all are the sales of go display currently. I didn't apply any filtered, any uh, authority object at all. So I got all the all the sales of data, 171, GSOP, all the sales of whatever the, the sales of available in the system for all the sales of I got the data in the output. So now what I will do, I will apply the authority object over here. Now what will happen, only those data will be displayed which is having user actual access. Using this authority object, I have only NA01 access. So I, will, I should get the data only for NA01. Control F3, let me do once again F8 to see the result. If you do F8, you will get the result. I will not apply the filter further on the select option. I directly execute the data. This time I should get only data for the NA0, but because I have the access to data only for, for the sales of NA01, you can see. I don't have, I applied that authority object. Uh, if I try to pass other uh, sales of other sales of in the selection screen, I will not get the data at all. Suppose I pass 1710 or something else I will pass and I, I will try to see the data for other sales of. I should not get the data for other cells or even though the data is available in the system because I don't have that data access I, that role is not assigned that is the reason I'm not getting the data if you want to get if you want to reassign that you you can change this one uh, instead of na 0117102 you will get only 1710 you can apply multiple cells or as well 
how to do that i have already explained in the dcl video you can watch out that video how to create authority object and how to assign that authority object to particular cds entity now here what we are doing instead of applying the authority at the cds level i am applying at the program level that's a, that is the only difference so what we did this is the one way suppose we have multiple authority object how to apply we can't call multiple time this particular for that we have another method uh, i have already class for this one so you have to use this class method if you have multiple authority object you want to check instead of checking one authority object in that case what you have to do let me do control shift less than first this one there is another way we can do if single authority object you can use this way if you have multiple authority object what you can do you have to use this class and collect your all the authority objects uh, uh, cdl sadl con true factory pub method it will collect all the authorization so i don't remember this name so that is the reason i copy pasted anyway no need to worry always online helps for, for remembering class name you just can search for salve alb ida you can get those class name and method just to act just to understand concept how it will work that is the way more important so what we can do we can do theta uh, lv underscore uh, we can i want to create it will return us one instance lr underscore uh, auth i can use this particular it will collect all the authorization object basically and inside this particular auth we have one method called add authority object that will collect all the authority object same way how it is directly we are applying instead of applying directly what we will do we will apply through this method control c control v i have the field mapping let me pass this field mapping same value i will pass control v and here also i will pass same value control c activity also i will add control v by default it is free if you don't apply also but you have to apply and see that's okay and finally what you have to do you have to again set uh, in this particular control c instead of calling add authority object you have to call set control v if you do control space then you will get automatically something called set authorization provider this is basically auth provider we can say you can change the name control c control v and that auth provider i have to pass here and you can aid you can call this particular aid authority object multiple time over here if you have multiple authority object and you can pass that auth provider here and further it will be those all the authority objects will be applied on this particular cds entity or we can see the output of that particular alv idea let me do control f3 let me see the result how the result looks like it should be similar that should be now because already uh, let me do f8 i should get the data only for n is 0 1 sales of i should not get other sales of data that's very important so let me execute i will not filter out at the collection level i want to get all the data but it will be filtered out because i have only n is 0 1 access so i'm getting the n is 0 one access if you want to change instead of n is 0 1 something else i i want to give this user some other sales of data you can come to pfcg you can edit your role you can change your, your authority object data change authorization data and you can come here you can come to your vkrz field i want to give some other sales of data access instead of na01 let me give gsop data access only no i don't want to give na01 access data to this user i want to give the data access gsop user access so for that you have to reason rate uh, this particular authorization object you have to save and once you save you have to come back okay generate and come back and it got saved and you have to save finally your role if you try to execute now you will not get your na01 data instead of na01 data you, you will get gsop data that's you change your role now you have access to gsop data access not you don't have na01 access so i just execute the data see how this work code the gsop data only four entries we got because in the system only four entries are only available so like that we can up pass the authority object to the database level so generally what we will do uh, what we do uh, what we, instead of passing the authority object uh, in the database level in normal day to day programming when we create using the sal value what we do we either we get all the data in the final table then we apply this particular authority object and we filter out data further and we will display it finally or when we are passing the filter to the select option that time we will pass those only those data filtered the data only those cells which we want to get the data from the database what we will do 
letter way is better obviously we should not get all the data from the database we get just needed whatever the needed data but sometimes we have to get the data and then we have to apply the filter that time we are unnecessarily getting the data and then applying filter in this case the best way you are passing the auth object itself to the database it will be filtered out at the database level because your database is powerful you should apply all the filtering part all whatever you want to do all the things you have to do at the database level then the finally data you should get i think uh, this video is long enough what we can do we will discuss further more alv idea concepts in upcoming videos before going to those videos please like this video share this videos with others as well with that thank you and happy learning